Okay, for chapter 3b, number 14, uh, we want to figure out uh, how to make lines L and K parallel for each part of the problem here. So if let's look at the one on the left. And uh, if we're trying to get parallel lines here, we're trying to get that these lines are parallel, K and L, then you have to think about uh, the ways of getting parallel lines. And there are five of them that we've talked about a lot. And so they're down here. So let me take this section. And now I'm trying to get parallel lines. So really, I only care about V5 here. I don't have parallel lines yet. So let's take these five and put them up here so that we can reference them. So I'll put them right here. OK. Um, so if you look at these two angles, we want to figure out a way to get k parallel to l. So I need to match up these angles somehow, one of these sets of angles. And if you look at these two angles, 3x and x squared, uh, they are on the exterior part of my two lines, right? Because this is the interior here. So they're in the exterior. And they're on the same side of my transversal. Here's the transversal. They're on the same side. So that goes with reason number nine here. So what I need is I need to make sure that those two angles are supplementary. OK, so let me get black. So I'm going to write x squared plus 3x should be 180 because same side in uh, exterior angles should be supplementary. OK, so uh, if I bring the 180 over, I get x squared plus 3x minus 180 equals 0. Uh, and then you can do two things. You can either factor it or you can use quadratic formula. So if you factor it, it might take a little practice, but it turns out that you get x and x plus 15 and minus 12 equals 0. So that means x plus 15 is 0 or x minus 12 is 0. And so then that means x is negative 15, or x is 12. OK, so we get two answers. And then you got to plug them back in and check. If I take the negative 15 and I plug it into here, then the problem with that is I get an angle of negative 45 degrees. So right away, I know that's a problem. So the negative 15 doesn't work. Can't have negative angles. OK, if I plug in the 12, I get 36 degrees up here, and down here I get 144, which is good because that sums up to 180. They're both positive angles, so this one works. Uh, just in case you didn't remember how to factor this right here, you could also go with the quadratic formula approach. So then that one would be your a is 1, your b is 3, and your c is negative 180, and then you plug it into the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4. Whoop. A c all divided by 2a. And if you work all that out, this ends up being root 729, which is actually a nice number when you take the square root. And at the end of it all, you end up with negative 15 as one of your answers, or 12 for the other answer. OK. Uh, so now let's look at the other problem here. OK, so in this one, I've got a 7x here in the bottom right, and I've got an x squared minus 4 also in the bottom right. And so when, then, when they're in the same location, those are corresponding angles. So we want corresponding angles to be congruent if I'm going to get parallel lines. So that means that 7x should be the same as x squared minus 4. So uh, if I get everything over to one side to make it equal 0, I'm going to get 0 equals x squared minus 7x minus 4. And so my, now this one does not actually factor into nice numbers. So odds of you guessing what these numbers should be is slim to none because they're really long, ugly decimals. So instead, let's go the quadratic 
formula root. So again, the quadratic formula up here, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so uh, let's plug in. In this case, a is 1, b is negative 7, c is negative 4. And so if I plug into my quadratic formula, I'm going to get x equals negative negative 7, so positive 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 7 squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so then to simplify this a little bit, I get 7 plus or minus root 49 plus 16 divided by 2. And this becomes 7 plus or minus root 65 over 2. And so this is where I turn it into two things. One is 7 plus root 65 over 2. And one is 7 minus root 65 over 2. And so if I plug these into my calculator, which I've got right here, I'll do that. 7 plus root 65 is 15.0622, and then I divide by 2, and I get 7.531. And over here, if I do the same thing but minus, I get negative 0.531. So I get two answers, this one and this one. But I'm not done yet because I need to check if they actually work. Well, as soon as I look right here at 7x, if I plug in a negative number, that angle is going to be negative. So already I know this one's not going to work. If I plug in 7.531, let me tell you what that is real quick. That's about 52.7. And if I plug it into here, so 7.531 squared minus 4, that's also about 52.7172. Okay, so these are the same. These are the same. So this one works.